It's summertime and the living is easy and your business can be too. It's really pretty simple. You know, pool times, picnics, vacations, and just plain old relaxing. It's what makes summer the best time of the year for all of us. And that's why we love our direct selling businesses. It gives us that flexibility to really love summer and spend lots of time with family. Now, you can have a thriving business too if you just do three simple things. Plan, prepare, and then execute. So start today. Take a day and just plan. What do you want your summer to be like? What's important? How much income do you want? What's that required to make that happen? How much time off are you taking? How many vacations? How many days off? Do you like to work really hard one week a month and take three weeks off? Do you want to work one day a week and take the rest off? Do you want to work in the morning, take the afternoon off? What, is you, what do you want your summer to look like? And then figure out what's going to be required to make that happen. Then the next big piece is to plan what you're not going to do. What can you delegate? You know, the very best summer of my entire direct selling career was the summer I hired a college student 20 hours a week, and I told her her job was to be me. That meant she did whatever it is that I would have done that I didn't really want to do or that she could do that gave me time to do the high income producing activities and more importantly be with my kids and my family. So she did everything from weed my garden to run my children to she did tasks in my office. It just depended and she loved it. It was a great summer job for her and it made my life amazingly fun and just a terrific summer. Now, I know everybody can't afford to hire someone 20 hours a week to, to be you, but you can get a lot accomplished uh, with to stay committing the um, revenue from one party to hiring a college or a high school student. You'd be amazed what they can do. And it doesn't have to be your business. They can do other things in your life that provide time because that's really what you're looking for, isn't it? More time to enjoy summer. Make sure you think about when your kids are going to be involved, get them signed up for the activities in the camps, and plan your business so that maybe you work really hard that time when you know they're not going to be around. But when you get the plan and do what you want to have happen, the successes you want, the time off, the activities with your kids, create a big old master list of everything required to make that happen, all the tasks then you're going to be ready to do the second phase, which is prepare. Take a good hard long look at that list and figure out who else can do it. Can I hire someone? Can my family do it? Or can I do it in groups? If you spend one chunk of time, maybe the whole family works together and prepares all your paperwork for the entire summer, or you have um, some of your team members help plan your meetings, Thinking about it in advance means that you can delegate so much of it out. Um, and it's really critical to do that preparation. You know, block out the time now so that you can get things scheduled so that when this, you're in the midst of summer, it's just about execution. And then step back, relax, and know that your plan is in place and just execute what you've planned. When it's time to work, work really hard. Don't get distracted. You may be better off to hire someone to watch your kids one day a week so that you can focus. You know, I can remember when I had a sitter one day a week, I walked past the laundry, past the dirty dishes to my office and did not leave until it was time to pick them up. But it made me so much more present and a better mom the rest of the time to do that. So when it's time to work, work hard. But then when it's not, play. Don't think about work. Don't stress about what you're not doing. Be in the moment. You know, be on when you're working and be off when you are not. A great summer for your business and your family begins with a decision to make it happen. As Stephen Covey says, begin with the end in mind. When it's Labor Day and you look back at the summer you just experienced, what do you want it to have been? And then be intentional today to create it. Happy summer!